Hello, how you doing Mike Bradley? Hope you are doing well as always. Guitar strings, we all use them, we all need them. And uh, I think because of Steve Ray Vaughan, there's the big thing about, do big strings make a difference or is it all a myth, you know? And then you've got Billy Gibbons and Brian May and they use eight gauge strings, you know, very skinny strings, I believe. Uh, and they still sound great, you know. So um, I thought uh, I would do a little comparing. Uh, so I've got some eight gauge strings, some eight to 38 only ball extra slinky, and I've got some 11 to 48 power slinky. I was gonna put 12s on and do eight to 12, but I thought that might be a bit tricky regarding nuts and all that kind of stuff. Um, guitar nuts, not the... Not those ones. So I thought I'd do 11s, all right? Which is still, you know, quite powerful. Quite a bit of oomph there. And then I was thinking what guitar to use, and that sounds like such a, you know, egotistical thing. And what guitar should I use for this? Because I have so many. Um, but uh, I didn't want to use a floating bridge. I was thinking of that at first, and I was gonna use a Telecaster or a Les Paul thing. But I thought I don't want to screw any notations up or anything like that. So, um, the irony is saying about the bridge, my old Pacifica here, which uh, I've done a few videos on, and this has had five strings on it. And sounding like this for some time. So I thought it was about time I put some new strings on this. So um, I can leave the 11. So I want to do the, put the eights on, and then I'll do a bit of playing and then I'll put the 11s on and do a bit of playing. But I will not film myself changing the strings or anything like that because you don't need to see that. It's a bit boring, isn't it? So um, I'll, I'll change them all and then I'll be cutting between the two so you can hear it. I'll try and remember what I played and uh, you know play relatively the same thing uh, side by side. And I thought it'd just be a cool thing to hear. You know, is there a difference? So, um, yep. Yeah. 8 to 38, which I don't think I've ever played before. That is very, very skinny for me. Uh, and then 11s to 48, uh, which I use on my Gibson scale length guitars, but not kind of Fender scale length guitars. So um, yeah, I'll probably feel a little bit in my forearm, especially from getting used to 8s for a minute and then going to 11s. Anyway, let's stop waffling. Uh, I'm gonna go and change up. You're gonna skip that bit and you're gonna see just playing right now. So um, let's see if there's a difference. <laughs>
interesting that took a bit of time as well uh, when I went to 11s this bridge just as I thought it would just shot right up so um, I think with these old Pacificas as well like getting the balls out is quite tricky so I, I took the back plate off uh, you might have seen all screws and that on the amp here um, but um, I had to uh, really screw that down 
uh, because this was just was sitting up here, so it took ages for it to tune. Now I've got it quite flush. I haven't got the whammy bar because when I was about 14, 15, I, uh, it snapped off and it's been in there ever since and I can see the end still in there now. But um, anyway, so my thoughts on going from eights to 11s, apart from the little bit of trying to change one to the other, I really don't like eights. Uh, they felt horrible, uh, far too skinny. And one thing I've kind of realized, I'm not realized just then, I've always known, but it was very apparent that I'm quite a heavy hitter. I'm a heavy handed player. Um, that's just, unless I'm doing something very, very delicate, but naturally um, I, I play the guitar quite hard. And so even that beginning bit, what I was doing, like, um, was it, I think I did GDNA. Just doing chords felt weird. Um, when I put the 11s on, it felt a lot better. So I think, you know, uh, I've heard stories about Billy Gibbons being a very light player. And I believe Brian May has never even had a refret on his old Red Special guitar, which, you know, that guitar has been played a lot. It's been um, uh, re restored and refurbished a few times, you know, wear-wise on the body and the neck and that. But the actual frets are still the same of what he put in in the late 60s, you know. And if you think that amount of tours that man has done and then recording and, you know, just all the playing he has done on that one guitar and he's never refretted it, um, that means he has a very, very light touch. Um, you know, someone like Steve Rayborn, who I mentioned, was a very, very aggressive player. And he went through frets, I think, every few months or something like that, you know. So, um, I think if you use skinny strings, then that's okay. But if you're going for the thicker one, and the main thing here was obviously stuff like that, we kind of knew, I think. But the main thing is the sound. And as soon as I put the levens on, and I have the levens on now, uh, and started playing, I felt the sound was so much louder. It was a much louder sound. Uh, I don't know if it could, I went from a quiet room to was I done playing, but, and it'd be interesting as well hearing it back um, on the audio, but um, it certainly felt louder in the room. Um, I'm sure, and hopefully you are, let me know in the comment sections uh, so I can, you know, it's cool for the feedback. Um, but yeah, I do prefer the tone of thicker strings. I don't know if I could go fully to a little, I mean, I probably could, but I mean, like I say, there's 11s on it now. And I think as well a psychosomatic kind of thing here, I'm thinking it's heavy, so I'm you know, gurning and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I can still hit the note. still holding the tune in it. So I don't know what that crackle is, but we're going with it. So I think I could get used to it. You know, do I want to? Uh, that's another story. I'm gonna certainly keep 11s on this, just, just because, you know. It's horrible wasting strings as it is. I definitely prefer the sound and the tone of 11 gauge strings, you know. Did you prefer the sound of the eights? Please let me know, it would be great to know. Um, but I mean, sound aside, and of course sound is very important, actual kind of the feel of playing eights is, isn't for me at all. I didn't feel comfortable, I was thinking about it, just putting my fingers on the strings just felt all flappy and stuff, you know. So uh, yeah, man, it was uh, it was a cool little experiment to do. I'm glad I did it actually. Um, like I say, I've always wanted to kind of move up. I use 10 to 46, my regular strings, and I've often thought about going up to 11s, and I know 
uh, many string manufacturers. I just realized I've got an Ernie Ball t-shirt as well. It feels like I'm just Ernie Ball fanboy today. Um, but I know many string guys uh, have different, you know, the 0.5 stuff. I know Ernie Ball obviously do it and, and kind of a hybrid sets and stuff like that, which I've done in the past. So I'm sure a tag could be popping up right now if I'm gonna check that out. Um, so, but uh, to do the big full step up to 11s, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. It's just, you've got to work a bit harder, so I've got to get used to it. I could certainly feel it there, you know, but I am left-handed, so. You know, my strong, my strong hand is here, but I've been playing 10s to 46 for the last, or oh, at least 15 years. So, um, you know, yeah, I, th I think I'll probably, well, we'll see what happens. But it was a cool little experiment, and for me, the Levens win um, on the sound, on feel, on overall tone. A uh, lot, lot louder as well. But that was in the room. Love to know what you guys think. Uh, as always, thank you very much for the love and support. If this is your first time seeing me, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button as well, because YouTube like doing that kind of stuff. But do you need me to tell you that? No. Um, if you haven't, do check out my website, mikebradleymusic.com and uh, you can get some uh, lessons which are on YouTube and you can check out my music. Uh, I've got a couple of EP EPs out now. All the links will be in the description box below. Do check it out and you can get Mike Bradley t-shirts now saying, hope you are doing well as always. So um, yeah, and it helps support support the cause, you know? So all the support is very much appreciated. Thank you for all of you for watching. Thank you to everyone on Patreon and um, for being lovely. And I will see you very, very soon for more guitar-isms. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you're very good and well. I'll see you very soon. Mike Bradley very much sign out with the 199 pound Yamaha Pacifica 112, which I bought in November 1997. Oh, that's scary. Anyway, hope you're well. See you soon. Mike Bradley signing out. Bye. The devil's on my side.